In this podcast episode, Callie Means delves into the alarming issue of how the healthcare industry in the United States is incentivized to keep people sick for profit. Means highlights the economic reality that the healthcare industry thrives when individuals are sicker, leading to a cycle of recurring revenue from chronic conditions. This profit-driven motive has created a system where the focus is on treating symptoms with medication rather than addressing the root causes of illnesses. Means shares personal experiences, including the story of his sister, a top medical professional who realized the limitations of the healthcare system after encountering a patient with multiple chronic conditions. He also recounts the health struggles of his mother, who faced a series of chronic illnesses throughout her life without receiving proper education or guidance on addressing the underlying metabolic issues. The conversation delves into the history of the modern pharmaceutical industry, tracing its origins back to John D. Rockefeller in 1909. Means explains how Rockefeller's influence led to the siloing of diseases and the emphasis on pharmaceutical solutions, sidelining holistic approaches to health. This shift in medical practice has contributed to the rise of chronic conditions in the population, with 95% of healthcare costs and 9 out of 10 deaths in America tied to metabolic conditions. The podcast also touches on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, highlighting how the virus disproportionately affected individuals with underlying metabolic health issues. Means criticizes the mainstream narrative that focused solely on pharmaceutical interventions, neglecting the importance of metabolic health in combating the virus. He emphasizes the need for a holistic approach to health, including lifestyle changes and nutrition, to strengthen immune systems and prevent chronic diseases. Means raises concerns about the influence of the healthcare industry on various institutions, including mainstream media, politicians, and medical research. He points out the significant financial contributions made by pharmaceutical companies to these entities, shaping the narrative around healthcare and perpetuating the cycle of sickness for profit. This influence extends to regulatory bodies like the FDA, where conflicts of interest can impact decision-making on drug approvals. The conversation also touches on the upcoming election cycle and the role of political candidates in addressing the healthcare crisis. Means discusses the limitations of past efforts to drain the swamp in Washington, noting that systemic changes are needed to challenge the entrenched interests of the healthcare industry. He highlights the importance of raising awareness about the profit-driven motives of the healthcare system and advocating for a shift towards prioritizing holistic health approaches. Means criticizes the current healthcare system for prioritizing profit over public health, pointing out that the industry is growing rapidly and becoming the most valuable sector in the country. He discusses how pharmaceutical companies fund research and influence medical professionals to promote their products, even when they may not be beneficial for patients. Means gives examples of how doctors are incentivized to prescribe certain drugs, such as OIC, a weekly injectable for obesity, which is on track to become the highest revenue-generating drug in the country. The guest also delves into the issue of mental health, particularly the overprescription of psychoactive drugs like SSRIs. He argues that these drugs do not address the root causes of mental health issues and can actually numb individuals from reality. Means criticizes the mental health industry for pushing these drugs on patients without considering alternative treatments or addressing underlying issues. Means shares personal experiences, including the loss of his mother to cancer, which motivated him to advocate for a more holistic approach to healthcare. He emphasizes the importance of addressing the mind body connection and the impact of chronic stress on overall health. Means also discusses the perverted view of death perpetuated by the medical system and the need to shift focus from prolonging life to improving quality of life. The guest challenges the traditional medical model and calls for a more integrative approach that considers the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of health. He highlights the connection between metabolic dysfunction and chronic diseases, arguing that many forms of cancer are linked to issues like diabetes and obesity. Means advocates for a shift towards regenerative agriculture and incentivizing healthier food choices 
to prevent chronic diseases at their root. The guest expresses concern about the excessive focus on statins in healthcare, noting that they only extend life expectancy by four days on average. He criticizes the medical establishment for pushing unnecessary treatments and medications on patients, leading to a lack of trust in the system. Means also discusses the role of mental health practitioners in promoting pharmaceuticals and urges individuals to question their advice and consider alternative approaches. The guest shares his personal experience with psychedelics, describing how a transformative ceremony helped him gain a deeper understanding of life and death. He believes that psychedelics have the potential to revolutionize mental health treatment and reconnect individuals with their true selves. Means acknowledges the stigma surrounding psychedelics, but argues that they can be powerful tools for healing and self-discovery. Means highlights the significance of individual empowerment and personal exploration in improving health outcomes. He criticizes the current healthcare system for being incentivized to keep people sick and highlights the need for bold leadership to change the status quo. He suggests implementing policies that promote activities like farming, gardening, exercise, and breathwork to address mental health issues and chronic diseases. Means gives examples of policy changes that could have a significant impact, such as banning pharmaceutical ads on TV, regulating drug prices, and promoting unbiased medical research. He emphasizes the importance of leadership with moral courage to stand up to powerful industries and make decisions that prioritize public health over profit. 